Today we're going to talk about chapter A to start with. Uh, uh, show you how to uh, how to use the so-called workstation object and how to set up a so-called sequence dependent setup time and inside the workstation uh, objects. And also show you how to so-called consume the material and how to define material properties, uh, field material and inventory replenishment and all that. Uh, given them 8.1, the, uh, the kneading process has a three work, uh, three step, uh, one workstation, uh, an order come in every three minutes, and 15% of them are yellow, and 20% of them are uh, are red color, and 35% blue, 10% are green, and each batch arrive within uh, three minutes. Follow exponential distribution by order quantity coming in with 50% uh, uh, of chance of 20 uh, on the binomial distribution. And there's a needing process over here. Processing time is 0.1, 0.2, and 0.3 minutes. And it requires the two minutes of setup and every batch and require one minute to tear down and then it sh go to shipping and transportation between the incoming arrivals to the workstations one to two minutes uniform again from the workstation to exit is about one and two minutes so first we trying to show you how to use this and the thing is uh, the men objective of this ch chapter is talking about the workstation objects. The app workstation object is more complicated uh, server uh, again with a network coming to input node, processing node, and the output node and going out to network. The more details is actually inside the processing block inside the processing node and the processing block actually has a, a setup activity and you can have a processing activity and then you have a tear down activity and this thing can go on and on with within uh, to process the stuff coming to buffer so each process can process in batch so slightly more we call the advanced server basically so look at this model view first let's do this real quick Putting a source. Kada order arrival. And putting a workstation right here and a sink. So it's straightforward. Okay. And using time path, I believe. And both of them are travel time follow. Uniform distribution between one to two minutes. Okay. And uh, inter arrival time follow random distribution with uh, uh, exponential distribution with three minutes each time um, and then we need a model entities right here we call the order okay order come in to process and in the workstation is very similar to uh, the regular station is follow a tr triangular distribution with uh, Processing time 0 0.2, 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and 0 0.3 triangular distribution, and also requires setup time for two minutes, for example. Okay, require tear down time for one minute. So this is what easily set up. So each batch you have that. Um, <clears throat> so this is a very straightforward very similar and 
to do so. And then each time we arrive, and we want to have a model entity, so each order represents a whole bunch of uh, jobs. So we need to set up a so-called attributes, or we call that uh, model entity state, and talking about <coughs> as the order. So I'm going to say, the order quantity. Okay, so we'll call it order quantity, and in this case, we're using a real variable. Okay, uh, unit type is unspecified. So this is the order quantity adding as a, then we'll come back to the model to do th two things. <coughs> And here we have an order. We have a four different type of order, uh, respectively the green, the yellow, uh, the red, the blue. So here we try to do is we have several different types. So I'm going to ask our adding uh, additional symbol. Actually, we have four. Okay, so I'm going to the first one. The second one is supposed to be. Uh, yellow, choose a uh, not entirely yellow. Yellow, I find, is hard too. Okay, and then go to the third. Will be color will be red. And the last one will be blue. Okay, so here we have four different color for this red, uh, sorry, green, yellow, red, and blue, and coming in. And now we need to decide when this order arrives and what type of color it is. We're using the original, uh, we're using the original uh, order type, we we'll call this. this order type uh, I'll call the type symbol like the textbook type symbol so here we have like different symbol another so, uh, zero one two three and percentage wise uh, green is about thirty percent uh, yellow is 15%, red is 20%, and blue is 35%. Is that right? Yes, follow uh, green, yellow, red, and blue, and that's their percentage. So this is this part is easy and we know how to deal with this. And what we do is <clears throat> what we do is we okay. So we show you how to set up the works, workstation using setup time, processing time, and teardown time. 
and model entity adding uh, order quantity setup model with a simple table and now after they arrive uh, after entity is created I need to assign uh, the corresponding symbol to it so this is what we have so far and after they arrive we're going to create add-on process uh, after creating the entity okay I'm going to first doing a set row first I'm going to set row based using the table uh, called table type symbol and row number I'm going to using uh, Type symbol using percentage and using random row based on the percentage. So here we're just setting setting the rows into uh, type. <clears throat> Second, we want to do two things. First, we want to set the model entity picture according to the symbol. Uh, <clears throat> type symbol table. I want to find for the symbol and set on this. Okay. And and second, we want to set this uh, assign block to have <coughs> an order quantity set up. So here we have model entity order quantity set up to follow a binomial distribution. with uh, 0.5 as part of the successful number of trial is 20 okay okay so it's average 10 and depends on how we flip the coin <clears throat> all right and these are the two actually we set row meaning uh, we determine which row it is on this table based on the percentage and assign a symbol corresponding to the picture and then <coughs> just assigning the order quantity to it so here where we come back to the workstation and this operation quantity in this case now it becomes model uh, model entity dot should be order quantity so this process has a process of how many each batch you want to process and that's your random processing time so that's all there's to it for 8.1 so let's take a look at the run You see that coming in with a different color based on the random processing time. Now it's work, work in a working prog uh, workstation station and move on like that. So this is a fairly quick example for 8.1 and we continue later. <clears throat>